We're going to end out the show tonight with a very funny comedian. He's opened up for uh, Gilbert Godfrey, Jimmy Fallon. Don't know if you ever heard of them, but they're great guys. Ladies and gentlemen, John Poveromo! Hey, what's going on, guys? Yeah, I'm not going to ask you how you're doing because I feel like you've gotten that a lot tonight and I think you're doing okay, right? Are you? I did it anyway, but fuck it, right? It doesn't really matter at this point. Here's why I love coming to Rowan. I'm going to get this out of the way real quick. Is that you guys don't give a fuck about anything. And that's what I love about you. You guys have a, yeah, I know. You don't even know what I'm saying yet, so just give it a second. It's like, this guy's kind of an asshole. Um, but you guys have a road in Rowan? You think you know what I'm talking about? Do anybody, anybody know what road I'm talking about? Because I'll say it. I don't really give a shit specifically. The rape alley that you guys have here. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I love about Rowan. You guys <laughs> don't give a shit so much that you just nicknamed it and didn't even bother to put up a sign. No <laughs> cops alerting the road. You just fucking named the road. I saw a sign warning people of turtles on the parkway the other day. But you guys don't have the decency to put up a road that says, hey, you might not want to fucking walk down here alone <laughs> because shit might happen to you on the way. You're like, you know what, let's just nickname it like the clan wanted to do. We're going to adopt a road and just auction it off to the next rapist. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. Sorry, Ryan's beard reminded me of that, and I just feel like <laughs> I had to throw that out there. Doesn't he look like he's gonna like carry us all off into a van? It's like all four children just walked up on here. He's the only one, like the dirty uncle with a beard that's telling porn jokes. <laughs> right off the bat, everyone's like, do you like candy? He's like, dicks and wieners, that's the thing. That's what we're going for here tonight. He's my roommate, I can shit on him, it's fun. Um, no, it's cool though. Like, here's the thing, like, I, I actually did <laughs> run over a turtle on the parkway the other day, and I, yeah, I know, fuck me, right? Uh, <laughs> but here's the thing about running over a turtle is that, like, I felt really bad for it because you know you're a shitty driver when you hit a turtle. <laughs> like, what are you gonna tell people? He just ran out in front of me, I had no idea he was, couldn't see him coming, you know? And I felt bad for the turtle too because he had to think, like, oh, they must see me coming, you know what I mean? Like, he's just <laughs> walking along, minding his own turtle business, doing whatever. I felt like a complete asshole for like the rest of the day. Oh man, but you guys are sweet. Uh, this is for the Restore the Shore thing, so Vin put that on. Let's give a round of applause for Vin for putting this together. <laughs> Even though like eight of you bothered to come out, but that's fine, the ones that did. Did you guys donate though? Because you should really do that. When you walk out, you should really empty your wallets out. I know you're all college students, but you know, your parents must have money or some shit, right? <laughs> some of you, you apparently not, fucking two ripped jeans. When you're just both, I've never seen it both in the knees. That's not even a style, that's just help me, I'm cold. That's not even like a, you're just like, I don't even, like, did you just wear them out before you got here? I have no idea <laughs> what you're doing. Oh, really? Easy? Not too much? All right, sorry. Fuck it. <laughs> she just put her hand over my mouth. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, no, no. You seem, you seem like very, like, it was me. He was doing me on the way here. That's fine. <laughs> That's why you guys are sitting farther apart. I'm going to make babies tonight. That's what I'm going to do. Because we're not only restoring the shore, we're repopulating it. We lost a lot of people in that storm. That is not funny at all. I had no, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I had no idea that that was going to happen. We're actually all from Tom's River. We're all that's left, actually. We're all fucking the one comedian girl that's here. Uh, we're really working hard to try to repopulate the shore, just totally ignoring everybody else in the state, just one section in Tom's River. <laughs> we've decided, we've convinced her that's how we got her here. Uh, <laughs> please don't call the cops. <laughs> it's all sorts of weird now, right? Can this go on tape? No? Fuck it. Doesn't even matter at this point. No, but I like. I feel like the telethons are like a good thing. Like I like supporting them and stuff like that. But I feel like they're a little like misleading to a certain extent. Like all the celebrities got up and they were doing their thing. Did you guys watch the telethon? Like the huge one. Yeah, and it was kind of cool. And it was like a nice little relief for like the 45 hours that it was on TV, right? Like the longest telethon ever. But it was kind of like I don't know, kind of surreal for me because you know, but John Bon Jovi's up there and he's like, "Who says you can't go home?" And then like five minutes later, we're like, "Actually, you know what? I think it's FEMA that says we can't go home." <laughs> I've figured out your riddle, Mr. Jovi, your move. <laughs> what I mean, like, I don't know, it was kind of like, why don't you do something about it? It's kind of rude, I think, on his end, you know, just a little bit. Mmm, yeah, but oh, whatever. I like doing stand This fucking thing is going to annoy me the entire night. Let me just tighten this a bit, and that's fine. There we go. All right, I'm back. Oh, man. But I like doing stand-up and stuff. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever, like, you know, tried to do... Do you guys are, like, into performing arts? Is this all the TV people that it's in the room? Or you guys just... Yeah, you're all like, yeah, asshole, we've done this before. <laughs> They're amazing backstage. I got the TV shit going on and everything, and I step back, and I'm like, you guys, you're doing a great job. And they look at me like, get the fuck out of here. I'm like, okay, <laughs> just want to let you guys know that whatever you're doing with the buttons and the lights, just keep it going. You know, whatever. I'm just impressed by shit like that. But uh, I do stand-up, and uh, I've been doing it for a while now and stuff like that, and I like to travel and whatever. I just can't stand that you can't talk and drive on your cell phone anymore. I think it's bullshit, you know what I mean? I heard a, a read a statistic or whatever. It's like, you know, it's not the hands-free headset, and it's not the accidents that causes, um, I mean, it's not the uh, hands-free headset, it's not the cell phone that causes accidents, it's distracted driving. 
I was like, when is an accident not considered distracted driving? If you get into an accident and you were distracted, that means you just gave up behind the wheel. You're just driving on, you know what, fuck it, I had a really shitty day, I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna let God take the wheel on this one, you know? I'll make a deal with those people. I will stop using my phone in the car. If you stop putting apps I can use while I'm driving, how about that? I have an up-to-date traffic information app on my phone. I'm like, hey, look, there's an accident up ahead, and it's me. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous, you know? It's weird, though. Everybody's, are you guys getting, like, back in shape for the summer and shit? Is that, like, a thing that you, this kid in the front row, you don't need to get in shape, buddy. You already look like you're getting laid just sitting there. <laughs> He's got that attitude, like, nope, all I need to do is sit here. And, no, whatever. Um, <laughs> It's fine, though. No, Did she, Was she flirting with you when she was on stage? She was flirting with somebody. She looked so disappointed. No. The ripped jeans, dude? Really? <laughs> you can do better. What the fuck's the matter with you? Whatever. Um, but no, like, I don't know. Like, everybody tries to work out and get in shape. My friends go a little overboard with it. My one friend is, like, all impressed with himself. He's like, I lost 45 pounds. I'm like, how'd you do it? He's like, I gave up bread. How much fucking bread were you eating in the first place? <laughs> Seems like more of a portion control thing you got going on. You know what I mean? Not really a... I have to watch though, you know what I mean? Because I feel like I'm in, like too much of an asshole sometimes when I'm like off stage. Because here I'm allowed to be, but like in my personal life, it gets me in trouble. My friends and I were at an outdoor festival the other day. This really hot girl face painting. She's like, "What do you want on your face?" I was like, "Your vagina." <laughs> and I feel like that's just one of those things you shouldn't say. You know what I mean? Like in front of your girlfriend at the time. I feel like that's probably not the best thing to say. No, oh, whatever. We're still together. Uh, no, I mean, like, it's cool and stuff. Like, I, uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like people always expect you to be, like, really political when you're a comedian. I'm okay, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, like, right in the middle and stuff like that. I just can't stand, right? You're nodding your head and you understand what I mean. Are you guys, like, the election's over and shit? Just one guy. I know, just one guy in the front row. Thank God, right? You're really good. You project very well. Uh, <laughs> no, it's cool, though. I, like, I feel like always putting, like, the middle and stuff like that. Because they're, like, the media is always trying to drag you in and make people angry and shit like that. And, like... I don't give a shit, you know what I mean? Like, I was watching something one time and they were like, can you believe the president didn't contact the American people and ask them about bombing, name a country? And I'm like, I just burnt the DiGiorno. <laughs> so I'm not really sure I'm qualified to uh, let him know whether he should be bombing innocent civilians, you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty much learning how to do my own laundry at this point in my life. Like, I'm not really sure I am really should be asking him what to do. It's just weird to me, you know? Um, Ken was talking about being Catholic and stuff like that because the Easter's coming up, I guess. Is that the next holiday that we got going on? You guys look thrilled, by the way. <laughs> Remember Lent? Did you guys ever do that? Because I was Catholic and I had to do the whole Lent thing and I thought that was kind of... No? Never know we ever did Lent? 40 days, some people did Lent in here? Yeah, I don't know. That's the only time I ever felt bad for Jesus. Really. Because it's like complete sap in the face to him. He's like, hey, everybody, I'm going to die for your sins. We're like, sweet, we're going to give up Skittles. <laughs> Hope we're cool. <laughs> like, yeah, awesome. Uh, he's a good guy, Jesus. I don't really know him personally, but my friend stole the Bible from a hotel, so I'm pretty sure we got it covered, right? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Not a fucking clue. Um, hmm. Here's a story I'll tell you guys that I feel like is like a, like a personal story to me. I got, um, okay, it was like 19 years old. I was doing my first road gig up in like Plattsburgh, New York. And, uh, I accidentally pumped diesel into my brand new Honda going home. Anybody that much of an asshole in this room? And I felt like people were like, how the hell? And I had no excuse for doing it either because you know the diesel nozzle doesn't even fit into the gas tank hole. I sat there for five minutes trying to force it in. I'm like, wow, this car must be new. She's tight. <laughs> oh, I know. That's awful. That's a terrible joke. All right, you guys have been great. Have a good night, guys. Take care.